Hello, this is Edwin. I'm going to be teaching you how to upload to Pond5 today. So we're going to go to Pond5.com and this is assuming that you have already made an account, that you filled out all the tax forms and everything that you need to do to, according to uh, Pond5's regulation. After you're done with all that, uh, you're going to go to account and you're going to go to uploads right here and then you're going to go to upload new file. Okay, so once you're in this section, you're going to actually drag in the file that you want to upload for your music. Okay, once you're finished, it's gonna have this green check mark. And once you are done, you have to type in your password again on the bottom, and then you're gonna press send. Okay, so we're at the part where it's already uploaded to the account, and now we're gonna actually click on it, and then we're gonna press edit. Okay, so once you're here, um, you can actually just listen to your music by clicking this button. And then once you're done, you're gonna go lower, and you can you can also apply a template if you want. I don't do that. I try to make everything unique as possible with my postings. And then I just go to the bottom, and then you're gonna do type of audio if it's music or if it's sound effect. Mine is definitely music, so I'm gonna press music. And this is cleared for sampling. I'm gonna press no, and I'm just gonna call this a generic title. It's gonna be called acoustic writing. Basically, it's a, an acoustic style background music, and I'm just gonna put a brief description right here. Okay, once you're finished, you're gonna go to date created and you're gonna just write in the correct date when you compose the song. You can put your city as well. After you put your city, you're gonna go to location country and you're gonna input your country. And then you're gonna go to created, recorded with, and you're just gonna write in your instruments, any software you use to make your music. Once you're done, you're gonna go to seamless looping. I'm gonna press no, it's not a seamless looping. Does this clip contain lyrics or a human voice? No, it does not, it's all instrumental. Uh, for the tempo, I'm gonna put medium because I feel like that is a more of a medium type of an instrumental song. I'm gonna put my name for the composer. If you go by another name or an artist name, you can definitely put that as well. Okay, so you can also put your publisher. You can leave it blank if you like, but if you have a publishing music company, you can also put that as well. And then for this pro performance rights organization, if you have have info for that as well you can put that there now for the price it's definitely going to be up to you on what you want to sell your music at uh, usually I just put mine at the minimum price which is 15 and I just leave it there but you can go higher you can go to 45 or a hundred I mean you can go up to nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars as well I don't know why you would do that but if your music is that unique maybe you can do that so I'm just gonna leave mine at 15 okay so for the pricing method I'm just gonna do manual pricing because that's what I want to do for $15 you can let pawn 5 set your price as well but I rather just go with manual pricing because I have more control over it make this item available for free clip promotions you can say yes or no usually I just put no Okay, for the keyword section, this is going to be very important. You're just going to type in keywords that uh, are related to your music. So just make sure that you fill out all the 50 uh, spaces. I also want to say this too, on the bottom where you see suggestions, when you check mark any of those words on the bottom, it's going to also appear on the keyword section as well. So if you get up to about, what, 30 maybe keywords, leave some room for the ones on the bottom. So once you're done with the keyword boxes, you're gonna go to suggestions and you're just gonna input the ones that are making sense to your soundtrack. So mine is an acoustic instrumental and it's a very simple instrumental and I believe it's bright, it's calm, it's casual, it's everyday, it's definitely cheerful, it's relaxing, it's for traveling. And yeah, you're gonna do your best to just put the ones that are fitting the mood. On this section, you're gonna go to instrument and then I'm just gonna put acoustic guitar cause that's what I use. And for the era, you can just put the era that fits best for your music. For this section, it says add to collections. If you made collections, you can definitely add your music to it. If you wanna add any personal notes or additional info, you can do that as well. Okay, so once you're done, you're gonna just press save and submit for review.